Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Engineering Today, and I hope you're all having a great time. On November 18th, 2023, Starship embarked on its second integrated flight test from Starbase in Texas, constituting a significant step in its developmental journey. Although this trial didn't unfold within the confines of a laboratory or on a controlled test stand, it was undeniably a crucial evaluation. The insights gleaned from this flight are invaluable for the ongoing rapid advancement of Starship. The mission, commencing at 7.02 a.m. Central Time, achieved several notable milestones. Notably, all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster successfully initiated and completed a full-duration burn during ascent, a first for this phase of testing. Additionally, Starship executed a successful hot-stage separation showcasing the innovative power down of most of Super Heavy's Raptor engines before igniting the second stage Raptor engines. This technique, previously untested on a vehicle of this scale, proved successful. Following separation, the Super Heavy booster executed a flawless flip maneuver and initiated a boost back burn before experiencing an unexpected disassembly over the Gulf of Mexico more than three and a half minutes into the flight at an altitude of approximately 90 kilometers. Meanwhile, Starship's second stage Raptor engines propelled the spacecraft to an altitude of around 150 kilometers and a velocity of approximately 24,000 kilometers per hour, marking the first time a Starship reached outer space. Despite the telemetry loss near the end of the second stage burn, after more than eight minutes of flight, the team confirmed a safe command destruct was appropriately triggered based on available performance data. The water-cooled flame deflector and other pad upgrades met expectations, requiring minimal post-launch adjustments for upcoming tests. The success of such tests lie in the knowledge gained, and this flight is pivotal in enhancing Starship's reliability as SpaceX endeavors to make life multiplanetary. An ongoing data review is underway to identify areas for improvement and preparation for the next flight. The dedicated team at Starbase is already engaged in final preparations for Starship's third flight test, including ship and booster static fires. Elon Musk is getting ready for the third test flight of SpaceX's Starship rocket. He mentioned that the hardware for this flight should be ready in three to four weeks. Elon confirmed that this upcoming test, called Integrated Flight Test 3, or IFT-3, is for Starship serial number 28, not serial number 26. The booster for this flight, called Booster 10, or B-10, already has most or all of its engines. Elon believes it'll take about four weeks to get S-28 ready for launch. The last test, IFT-2, was successful for several reasons. Hot staging worked well, the launch pad performed better. The flight termination system, FTS, worked as intended. There were 33 engines used during the ascent. For IFT-3, the goal is for Booster 10 to successfully land in the Gulf of Mexico and Starship S-28 to splash down near Hawaii. Elon Musk suggests that IFT-3 should receive FAA approval relatively quickly. In recent Starbase activities, several ships underwent strategic movements. Initially, Starship 30, S-30, was relocated from High Bay, seemingly to clear the area temporarily. Following suit, Starship 31, S-31, was also moved out, gearing up for a transition to the Rocket Garden. Notably, it switched places with Starship 29, S-29, which made its return to High Bay. After a bit of shuffle, Starship 30 found its way back to High Bay. SpaceX was actively involved in various maneuvers. The Super Heavy Quick Disconnect SQD arm was brought back toward the tower, and the team performed a series of actions on the rocket, including lifting, testing, closing, and lowering the chopsticks. Observations on Starship 30 revealed an unusual column of missing tiles and the presence of remove-before-flight tags on the payload door. Meanwhile, at the build site, 
Specialized Platform Transporters SPMTs, were strategically moved into High Bay. Boosters also took center stage in the activities. Booster 11, B11, made its anticipated return to the build site after cryo tests. SpaceX swiftly moved it into the engine installation stand at Mid Bay. Notably, Booster 10 had already completed cryo testing and awaits a static fire test on the orbital launch mount. This flurry of activities unfolded on November 20th, with Booster 11's return marking a notable event after cryo testing at Massey's. The dynamic movements and tests showcase SpaceX's continuous efforts in refining and advancing their rocket technologies at the Starbase facility. After the recent launch of the Starship rocket, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration will investigate the explosions that occurred. Any future tests will require approval from this agency. NASA is relying on the success of Starship to achieve its goal of sending astronauts to the moon by the end of this decade. SpaceX, based in California, aims to use Starship for Mars missions but has NASA as a crucial client, with contracts worth over $4 billion for lunar missions. Before landing people on the moon, SpaceX needs to achieve various milestones, including suborbital and orbital flights without astronauts, and demonstrating the craft's ability to refuel itself in low Earth orbit. Despite NASA's plan for a lunar landing in December 2025, many doubt its achievability. NASA is now considering altering the Artemis III mission to exclude landing on the moon. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson praised SpaceX's test flight as an opportunity to learn in developing a lunar lander for future moon visits. He said that space travel is tough, but the key is to keep trying and learning from each attempt. This is crucial, especially for a company like SpaceX, known for its philosophy of failing fast and improving quickly. To show SpaceX's success, let's compare it to Boeing, another big aerospace company. Both were given contracts by NASA in 2014 to develop crewed spacecraft. SpaceX got $2.6 billion and Boeing received $4.2 billion. Since then, SpaceX has successfully launched astronauts to the International Space Station eight times with its Crew Dragon spacecraft. Boeing, on the other hand, hasn't managed a single launch with its Starliner. Even though SpaceX is doing well, the Starship would have moved on to more important tests next year. The ultimate goal is to see if Starship can carry a crew beyond low orbit and into deep space. This is part of NASA's plan as they chose SpaceX to provide the human landing system for the Artemis III mission, which aims to land astronauts on the moon. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.